A very good morning to everyone present here. Everything concludes in this world, but every such conclusion are always just a beginning. With these words in mind, we are here with the third day of the national level FTP on intellectual property rights organized by the Department of Commerce from Ratnam College of Arts and Science. I welcome Dr. S. Hariharan, Depart Head of Department of Commerce 3, Ratnam College of Arts and Science, to welcome the gathering. Once again, I welcome Dr. S. Hariharan, Head of Department of Commerce 3, Ratnam College of Arts and Science, to welcome the gathering. Hello, sir. You are not audible, sir. Hello, sir. You are not audible, sir. Uh, not audible. Hello? Yeah, yes, sir. I'm in the meeting. You may audible, sir. No, no. Uh, yeah, now you are audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Good morning to one and all present here. Good it's morning. my pleasure to welcome the today's chief guest, Dr. Sia. Dear Rane, Rane Robin, Dean Innovation, the Chairam College, Chennai. I welcome you, sir. And also, I would like all the participants welcome all the participants for this session. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for extending your warm welcome. Bestowing the honorees of our honorable chief guest, Dr. C. R. Reni Robin, currently working as professor in Department of Computer Science and Engineering and Dean Innovation at Sri Sairam Engineering College. His area of interest include ontological engineering, knowledge management, e-learning, semantic web, etc. He is a recognized supervisor of Anna University to guide PhD and MS by research in the area of computer science and engineering. He wrote two books and one book chapter. He had completed 60 publications in national and international journals and conferences. He received mentor award from IBM for the Great Mind Challenge 2011. He got the Young IT Professional Award in 2012 special mention by 
Computer Society of India at the regional level. He has received award for teaching excellence at Indo Global Education Summit 2013. Recently, in 2020, the government of Tamil Nadu has appointed him as a goodwill ambassador for the Plastic Free Tamil Nadu project and the coordinator for the dis for the Chennai district to create awareness to avoid plastic. During this lockdown period, he has trained more than 3,500 teachers on digital tools for effective teaching learning process and served as resource person for 12 webinars in various topics. I welcome our honorable chief guest, Dr. C. R. Reni Robin, to begin the session. Welcome, sir. Thank you for the warm uh, introduction. Very good morning to all. I'm very happy to meet you all in this August occasion. Uh, virtual platform to share my experience and knowledge on uh, intellectual property rights. We are the teachers. Uh, uh, we are gathered here uh, to know about uh, intellectual property rights. What is intellectual? What is property? What is a right on intellectual property rights? Is and the different types of intellectual property rights are our main uh, agenda of uh, today's discussion. Uh, I just want to confirm whether my screen is visible or not. Yes, sir, your screen is okay, okay. So I thank uh, Ratanam College of Arts and Science uh, Coimbatore for inviting me to deliver my lecture on intellectual property right. Basically, I'm a professor of computer science and engineering department and uh, I'm working in uh, the Shairam a group of institutions as uh, Dean Innovation. So gone all the days, uh, if we asked uh, the teachers what is the main focus of your, your system? They will say that the teaching, teaching, teaching. It includes taking class, correcting test paper, conducting test paper, correcting test papers, and uh, giving a result. These are all uh, a justification. Our, we define that these load our roles and responsibility as a teacher. But recent years, the, the paradigm has changed. It has shifted from the traditional way of teaching to something something else. So like today, we are going to discuss about the, the importance of intellectual property rights uh, so in, in, in the career of uh, teaching. So I've listened to various uh, newly, new terminologies in the education field. That is startups, intellectual property right, uh, innovation, entrepreneurship, enterprises, uh, MSME. These are all uh, the latest uh, terminology predominantly we are facing every day in all the circles of uh, uh, Ministry of Education, AICT, or UGC, or university circulars. This, these words, this innovation, inv invention, startups, intellectual property right, uh, entrepreneurship, uh, uh, sustainableness. These are all the predominant words. Uh, we are uh, terminologies we are uh, listening nowadays. So keeping this, uh, this IIC cell of uh, the government of India to got all the institution to form IIC cell and encouraging the faculty members and institutions to promote these activities because it is need of the hour. We cannot uh, escape from that. The teachers has to contribute beyond their teaching, correction, and other things. So before going to the actual discussion, I just want to make some clarity on the terminologies uh, which are very familiar to us. We are very familiar with the discovery, uh, discovery and invention. I'm going to make it very clear what is discovery, what is invention. Even still, we have some, some confusion on it. If I ask, if you ask whether the fire is a discovery or invention, you cannot provide answer for that. OK, so the discovery is something but which has already existed and somebody is going and discovering and finding out is nothing but discovery. The best example I can give for discovery is Columbus discovered America. Similarly, Vasco da Gama discovered India. These are all coming under discovery. If you go to Discovery Channel every day, you could find some new discovery have been discovered by some some people. Okay? This is what discovery invention is. Other hand, when you do when you um, invent something, when you introduce something first time that is coming under invention. So the there were no electric bulb at that time. Thomas Alva Edison made an attempt, not single attempt, 100,000 times he made an attempt to, and at last 
uh, he got the electric bulb. Electric bulb is the invention. So in that way, we can uh, distinguish between discovery and invention. And the next question is innovation. What is the difference between if it is invention, if it is innovation, then what is invention? The next question will automatically come to your mind. So if you see the government My screen is shared? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, please. So when we meet virtually, we need to experience this unexpected. Uh, so expect unexpected is a recent slogan. So I'm uh, coming back to my presentation. Hope my presentation is, uh, is visible now. Yes, sir. It is visible. Sir. OK, OK. So the, the, the difference between invention and innovations, I have to make it very clear uh, what is innovations. Because uh, I have when I have joined in uh, Sairam group of institution innovations, uh, uh, I have tried to understand more about the innovation. What is innovation? Being a professor of computer science and um, uh, got a shift, paradigm shift from the normal traditional way to the additional responsibility as a dean innovation. I have focused on uh, more on to know about the in innovations. So inventions, I have made very clear. Invention is nothing but uh, something. When you invent something new, when you introduce something new, it may be a process, it may be a product. Um, so uh, we call it as invention. So innovation, in the other hand, that uh, so if you make some changes, if you make some changes, I'm going to introduce some features. And it has its own inventive and a novelty, then we can claim it's an innovation. So electrical, the best example I can give is what example I have given for invention? The electric bulb invented by Thomas Alva Edison. The same thing from that product, I can give what is innovation. Innovation is in nothing but what Thomas Alva Edison, when he invented the electric bulb, the same bulb we are not using now. Okay, to for power consumption, other reasons now for green energy, we are going for uh, the, the LED bulbs. So LED bulb is an inven invention. So whereas the electric bulb invented by Thomas Alva Edison was an invention. And the latest LED bulbs are coming under innovations. So the, the I can give a, a formula for innovation to make it very clear on innovation. So innovation is equal to invention multiplied by commercialization it is not uh, the sum it is commercial it is multiplied by so here the invention is nothing but your idea 
and the commercialization is nothing but making money out of it so if you want to claim that your idea or your process or your product is an innovative product then it must have two components it must have new idea your idea and you should have the capability of commercialization so innovation is equal to invention multiplied by commercialization so invention if you have some idea and if you don't have potential to commercialize it then you cannot claim that it is an invention and you have enough uh, uh, potential uh, financial strength to do a business and if you don't have any new idea new product then you cannot claim it as an invention innovation so if you want to have an innovation it must be the combination of invention and commercialization so it is it is needed need of the art for our indian economy because gone of the days we our grandfather studied india as a developed country and the father have studied india as developed and we have studied india as a developed a developing country and even the next generation they are they are they are about to study india as a developing country when we make we will study we will say our indian india is a developed nation so develop it is depends on the economy of the status of the country so if we have more invention and if you more idea and if you commercialize say for example best uh, best example i can give is a apple phone steve jobs invention and innovations every time they release new new model whenever the new new model it attracts the customers and the people will change the old phone and get the new phone so do you know the the amount of uh, indirectly it is going to the government of united states of america for every phone every iphone we buy nearly 30 percentage of the amount will go to us government assume that if you have product in india and uh, making uh, the 90 to 90 percentage of the global population is using our product automatically we can uh, we can attract the global uh, money to india so if we get more money then definitely our india will become a rich country and developed nation so that is what the the indirect uh, objective of conducting and promoting the intellectual property right promoting innovation promoting inventions promoting startups okay so when you talk about invention we need to say something about uh, startups okay startups is nothing but if you have an innovative idea if you have invention then you, when you go for commercialization you are going to commercialize under the banner of a startup it is really a, a company a newly developed company so entrepreneurship uh, so when you start up when you commercialize it when you start earning money okay it is not just business just business is nothing but uh, if you go to a market uh, go to market and buy uh, uh, vegetables and uh, keep it in your stall and uh, buying that vegetables in a retail way so then we, it is it is a business entrepreneurship is nothing but if you have some innovative idea if you have some some inventions and if you are uh, earning money out of it then it is coming under entrepreneurship so uh, the next ne- next is for all these things we need to go for intellectual property right if we have some idea definitely you have to claim that it is your idea it is your intellectual property right this webinar is going to give more awareness on intellectual property right at this point we have to salute the initiatives of <coughs> government of india towards startup towards innovation towards invention towards entrepreneurship towards sustainableness and so on so if you look at the national student and faculty startup policy uh, 2019 so now the government is more lay on the institution universities institutions students and faculty members we have lot of potential lot of manpower this is the time and the government has taken the right decision to promote all these and imposing this in the in the educational institution and students and faculty members so if you see the national student and faculty startup policy 2019 it is the main uh, thing is developing entrepreneurship trust in developing uh, in the entrepreneurial uh, agenda and the giving the way of managing intellectual property right ownership how you have to protect your intellectual property how you should claim your ownership on the new ideas and uh, it is giving guidelines for technology licensing it is very very important sometimes if you have idea if you have patented it if you are not able to uh, commercialize it then you can go for a licensing so that you can get royalty you can get uh, the claim from the people 
and equity sharing of startups or entrepreneurships. So, so how to generate money out of your idea? These are all the main agenda of national student and faculty startup. It's all possible at campus. It's all possible by students. It's all possible by faculty. That is what the national student and faculty startup policy 2019 is saying. And the recent uh, the initiatives, the national innovation startup policy, NISP, is um, one of the major initiatives of government of India. Uh, the the uh, the constituted committee. The committee was headed by Professor Ashok Junjunwala, Professor of Indian Institute of Technology, Madras. Uh, you might have heard uh, his he, Professor Ashok Junjunwala. Actually, this concept, the startups, and I, it, we are all talking about nowadays. But uh, even without any external pressure, this particular gentleman, Professor uh, Ashok Junjunwala, started and brought this culture in Indian Institute of Technology, Madras, IIT Madras, and he trained. He has uh, um, shown the way even to the entire nation. This is how the institution has to go. And if you look at the abroad universities, the Harvard University, the MIT University, and Stanford University, this is what the culture. But here, Professor Asok Junjunwala has played vital role in bringing up the startup policy, bringing up the uh, startup ecosystem and uh, innovation ecosystem in educational system. His main main objective is bringing the startup ecosystem in education ecosystem. We are all very particular. We are very familiar. We are very well versed on education ecosystem, but we are new to this invention and startup ecosystem. But this this professor uh, Ashok Jinchinwala played. So the government, when they constitute a committee for national innovation and startup policy, he put Professor Ashok Jinchinwala as the chairman, and they have given a lot of guidelines and all the IICs, uh, the um, the innovation and startups, all the initiatives, MSME, it's all coming under, uh, going to be coming under national innovation startup policy. Recently, they have trained on two phases, phase one and phase two, and getting, uh, making the institution to frame their unique vision, mission, policy, quality uh, statement, policy statement, uh, separate committee for the implementation purpose. Everything is uh, doing on national innovation and startup policy. I, I visualize that I strongly believe that uh, this national innovation startup policy is going to uh, lead in the in the near future. So if you don't have the culture in the institution, kindly be a part of national innovation and startup policy. For, for more information are available in the website. So at Tamil Nadu, the government of Tamil Nadu has uh, taken a lot of initiatives the, the, in the name of Tamil Nadu Startup and Innovation Policy 2023. 20, uh, uh, so they, their main aim is to make Tamil Nadu as an uh, innovation hub. So the Tamil Nadu na National uh, Startup and uh, Innovation Mission shall identify the, the, the IP uh, centers to partner NKG startup networks, association, co-working spaces, etc. to provide IPR guidance to startups. Okay, it, is, it is very important to make awareness among the teachers, students. So there are a lot of uh, the, the intellectual property facilitated and centers are uh, available. So the government of Tamil Nadu is uh, bringing them under the Entrepreneurship Development Innovative Institute. Government of India, uh, government of Tamil Nadu initiatives bringing and supporting the IPR intellectual property support centers and uh, uh, making a network among all the uh, people, the patent information centers and intellectual property facilitation centers. In the, in the future slide, we are going to talk about the intellectual property facilitation centers available in India and in, in Tamil Nadu. So when I say uh, about the property, so there are three types of properties. The first property is movable property, and second property is, is immobile property, and third property is intellectual properties. The, the today's uh, agenda is uh, talking about intellectual property, right? As you know, mobile properties are car jewels are mobile properties. These are the properties you can shift from one place to another place. And in mobile properties, you have land, you have houses. Okay, so can you able to see the what this picture shows? Any of you can you un unmute your mic and say what this picture? Can any of audience? Uh, can you? Can you unmute and say what what does it? What is what is this this picture source? 
it's a house house good of morning, sir. good morning good morning yes sir Hello. yes 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 sir can you hear me yeah yeah please Hello, sir. Can you hear me, sir? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Sir, uh, I am Professor Shiva from Kadar College, sir. Okay. To be completed the part. So, this is small feedback about your session, sir, today. Okay. So, I we really enjoyed your session, sir. Uh, so, I have been to Anna University where uh, I have listened to these lectures previously. Okay. But your lecture was very good. Deliberations of about the IPR was such a Wonderful session, sir. Thank you, sir. So more than that, uh, I came to know a lot of things mm -hmm. about the uh, IPR, sir. Okay, okay. I have listen. I have been listening to you in YouTube. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, am I, am I audible? Yes. Sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, you were talking about asking about this picture. Yeah, yeah, this house. This, yeah. This yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's it's more about not about the products, but uh, it speaks about the design. Hmm. This 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 picture. Do you know this picture? What is this picture? Yeah, I mean, uh, I can make out. It speaks about the, the design, which is uh, separating this product uh, from the other. Mm -hmm. The gold, like necklace. I mean, it's a common product. Yeah, but it's it, design which is making a difference from the normal, like a uh, the the necklace. Yeah, you're, you're you're right. The design. You're right. You're right. These are all coming under mobile properties. This car and jewels are coming under mobile property, and now I am talking about immobile properties. So where I am showing this picture, do you know this picture? I just want to, I am, I am testing your IQ, general knowledge. And what is the name of this picture? That's what I'm asking. My question. No, sir. Uh, no, yeah. This is the first yeah. Time yeah, yeah. This is what the house of uh, the farmer, the cricketer, famous cricketer, Sachin Tendulkar. It is in Mumbai. It is in Mumbai. Okay, shell house. If you search net or YouTube shell house, uh, such in shell house, you will get more information. And there's a virtual tour is available. You can see how the the, the house is uh, built. Okay, just want to give some some awareness. So so even the house we have, the land we have, it's all coming under immobile properties. Okay, we are all familiar with mobile properties. We are very familiar with immobile properties. Uh, today's focus is to know about intellectual property intellectual property as we have the you, you you know the value of your car you know the value of your jewel you know the value of your land you know the value of your house similarly you must know the value of your ideas you must know the value of your literary you must know the value of your product your ideas and your that is what the intellectual properties see you have your intellectual property you can you can share intellectual property to your legal heirs. You can pledge your intellectual property as you pledge your house loan, house um, uh, jewels to get loan and bank. It has its own potential. So I want to give very uh, very big awareness on intellectual property. Hope this this hope this webinar this particular session will be an eye opener to all the participants who are gathered in this virtual uh, platform so friends uh, when we talk about invention we have to remember the remember our forefathers who have contributed for uh, the industrialization and the civilization for the community in the future community so this is what uh, this one is uh, the egyptians wheel when it has been introduced not back the wheel has been introduced and that made a big revolution for logistic, for change, for engineering. So we are all talking about wheel. And still it's a debate whether this fire is uh, discovery or invention. So the, the, another significant uh, uh, invention is the paper. Paper is so the, we, are, we use, no? It's an, it's an in invention. So these are all a few, few inventions I just want to give you.
so wherever i go i normally talk about the steam engine steam engine was invented uh, between 1763 and 1770 by, by scottish inventor james watt uh, so why i am always insisting this steam engine is today we are living in the era of industry 4.0 where we are talking about uh, uh, internet of things uh, cloud computing and, and all other um, uh, 3d printings etc but where we must know the origin of this industrial uh, revolution it started just after the invention of steam engine by Sc uh, scottish inventor okay it's powered uh, train ships uh, uh, factories just assume that if the 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 engines are not available every day we are even every day we are traveling around 50 kilometers to 90 kilometers to 100 kilometers it's not an issue because of this this invention so uh, industry 1.0 started immediately after the invention of steam engine so at this time we must know the evolution of uh, industry from industry 1.0 to industry 4.0 industry 1.0 are talking about uh, mechanization steam power and water power industry 2.0 was mass production assembly line and electricity industry 3.0 is talking about computer and automation and industry 4.0 is talking about the cyber physical systems we are slowly migrating from industry 4.0 to industry 5.0 so the another important uh, innovation if you ask me that is internet so today i am sitting at sairam uh, engineering college and you are listening and giving my lecture and we have, uh, hundreds of people are listening my lectures uh, from different parts of the country it is because of this invention uh, the internet okay so various professors have contributed and the major contribution is the protocol which we are using for communication i just want to say the tcp ip protocol the largest network of networks in the world is tcp ip protocol if you ask me the contributor of uh, tcp ip protocol i can say that robert haken and uh, binton surf are the main contributors for the internet and uh, you you need to know the the growth of internet uh, growth of internet growth of uh, uh, internet so if in 1977 in 1977 there were only 110 excuse me i have an important call i will come back yes one minute one I'm in a webinar. Ah, make it clear. Sorry. I'll let you put it down. Ball set up, which is principal sign money, ball set up, which is a mound of income. Monitoring, it's worth a copy. Okay, sir. Hunger and Inger and Smart One, and our principal. Only principal is a number to run. Nana Soligran. Oh, April, Tolo Glock. So 1977, there were only 111 hosts on sir, internet. Kindly unmute the audio, sir. Audio is not clear. Now? Yes, sir, your audio good. OK. How long? Now only? Or? Just now, sir, when you connected the call. OK, OK. OK, sir. Yes. Now audible? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, in 1977, there were only uh, 100 and now audible. Sorry. Yes, sir. 111, and now 19. It became 213 hosts in 1981, and it became 562 in 1983. And it became 1,000 in 1984, and it became 5,000 in 1986, and became 10,000 in 1987. It became 1 lakh. So if you uh, see this particular slide, you will get a lot of information on the growth of internet. And uh, even nowadays, 90 to 90 percentage of the global population is uh, started using the uh, internet. Okay. So the, the rest of the five slides I am devoted uh, uh, for the the innovations you may ask that i'm i'm doing i'm studying in a college i'm i'm, I'm being a teacher in an in educational institution so you can say that uh, uh, how it is possible so just to inspire you all just to inspire the participants i'm going to give example and after seeing this five slides you will be inspired and be motivated on this 
okay so this this saran sumesh from kerala cochin kerala uh, 10 years old inventor uh, has uh, invented more than 10 uh, dozens of uh, robots you know at what age he started her uh, first in his first invention when he was just four years old and he now he created over a dozen robots uh, uh, so far and most of the notable inventions are walking stick for visually challenged uh, robotic hand and uh, then uh, humanoid uh, robot that fires bullet and smart seat well these are all some of his inventions okay and um, the second one is kavya vignesh uh, from uh, delhi he she invented uh, invention named b saver bot in 2017 when she was doing uh, uh, 12th standard okay you all like if you ask me uh, uh, do you like honey okay so we all like honey and you know the process of getting honey the honey bees will go to flowers and collect money i like the honey and they store it in a particular place and the the honey hunter when they go they will go with fire and they will kill hundreds of honey bees and take the honey back okay because honey is honey bee is very harmful if we bite so with that intention to avoid getting bites they kill it so every time every time when they uh, extract honey uh, so they kill a lot of honey so that actually made um, kaviam uh, vignesh to save honey bees and because we have to let it alive for our um, next preparation for the next preparation of honey so uh, she and her group has invented a bee saver pot and uh, the robot nicknamed uh, light night um, macum was built uh, for to save the honey so it is coming under an invention and uh, i want to say about uh, akash manoj uh, um, <laughs> invention actually one of his uh, relatives died due to heart attacks heart attacks is silent uh, uh, things we never we cannot expect when it will when it will attack a person okay so it will come silently and uh, uh, take the life of a human being so he st he started thinking about it and uh, in, when he was doing 10th standard in 2019 he invented a skin patch uh, that detects silent heart attacks silent heart attacks and uh, this patch should release a positive electric impulse that attracts the uh, negatively charged uh, protein released by the heart for signaling a heart attack so you, if internet about uh, if you surf internet uh, to know about Agash Manoj you can see in the picture he is uh, um, being greeted by the uh, former uh, president and the, the, the current president honorable president of India and uh, uh, Gursim Ram Singh built a device to help visually impaired uh, to read, make them to read. The name of his invention is iScribe. He did when he was 16 years old and he was doing 12th standard. And uh, Anand Tadar invented Google uh, for blind when he was doing 11th standard. Uh, so these are all some of the uh, student inventions, uh, socially relevant uh, inventions are helping the people so if you think, if you do your research, if you uh, have any idea to, if you have any idea for the common people or the society, that will be recognized a lot, that will be rewarded by the government through a lot of its forms. See, a, a small example I just want to give you, this is the, the older way of grinding flaws, okay? So, are very familiar about it and I, I don't know even now this generation they not seen this product okay so and the, we have migrated from this to this model this model and now most of the houses is filled with this kind of grinder to grind the rice and doll for the the to make flour idli dosa so the the major south indian uh, food is italy and those are this this product is available at every home and being used by uh, every day okay so i just want to say this is what a product this sort of product so my intention of showing this is not only just to see and say wow 
okay this is not my intention my intention to encourage you encourage you my intention is to encourage you to think of it see uh, this was invented by a person or a company company after seeing it similarly you can bring out your own innovative ideas in all the things which you are seeing it okay in front of me lot of things are available i have a computer i have mobile phone i have pen i have pen stand i have a i have file i have chair so these are all the things which are available i have tube light fan ac switches this are all available so whatever you are seeing i am not encouraging we are not in, we are not calling you to do some invention it is very difficult doing invention is very difficult but it, it includes lot of manpower it, it includes lot of uh, uh resources it needs a lot of research but for making an invention it is not necessary we can uh, we can in innovate we can innovate a new with sim small with minimum resources and available resources that what that's what i am going to encourage even if a safety pen if you take a safety pen it has lot of uh, replacements lot of versions lot of variants we have it's as if you take uh, uh, the the pin the which we uh use for file the papers no it's if, if you straighten the pin it is jump clip it just is, is a thin rod thin rod is available one person had thought of it making it as a product making this a product if you straight it it will become a thin rod and the this jump clip he made it in such a way that so after that people have started thinking of it with various applications have produced uh, different different products so just uh, have a look on this video you will know about what is what is invention what is innovation innovation as i mentioned earlier doing something hi are you running as dermatologists love it l'oreal paris it is an advertisement automatically coming advertisement okay i am not doing anything serum 1.5% hyaluronic acid can you burden with me video will play after ad skin radiance burn by 42% naya hyaluronic acid serum by l'oreal paris we hello friends ellarkum vanakkam innikku video la nam ena paaka porom appdi solli paathen i don't take much of time so grinder pathina review so just to have a look on it how it is dejecting the flaws without meeting our hands this is what the new idea this is what the new invention i don't just want to show it as an example for innovation so it is available this video is available in the internet you will get more information on this particular invention innovations it's an idea small opening here small opening here and after grinding it if you open this knob automatically the grinded flaws will be ejected to the vessel and we can collect it without wetting our hands it's a small idea but even the 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 people would definitely really like this product uh, and especially the mother and uh, uh, the women will like it so this is what the invention okay this is what the product and the product they have made a small they have applied a small uh, idea that become the the innovation okay so with this uh, basic idea on innovation startup entrepreneurship let us uh, 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 slowly go into the intellectual property so intellectual property the formal definition is it is a term referring to a number of distinct types of uh, creations of the mind for which property rights are recognized so this is what the property as i said earlier moving mobile property immobile property and intellectual property so intellectual property rights a right that is had by a person or by a company to have exclusive right to use its own plans ideas or other intangible assets without the worry of competition at least for a specific period of time okay i'll tell you the time period the copyright and other it depends so what is uh, uh, ip uh, licensing a uh, licensing is a partnership between an, an intellectual property uh, right owner and another who is authorized to use such rights in exchange of an agreed uh, payment see so friends sometimes you may uh, invent something and uh, you may not have the potential of commercialize it and that time the ventures will come you can go for an agreed uh, payment you will get a royalty with a written agreement uh, saying that you are giving the rights to another company uh, through this venture 
so that they will promote your product and uh, you will get uh, the royalty uh, without uh, uh, making. So I want to give a small one more uh, invention. Hope it will come. I just saw it in, in the in the LinkedIn. The helmet nowadays the 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 people those who are using uh, two wheeler when the government made it is compulsory so a uh, lot of uh, issues we we face the people will say that the bald head people will say that it's because of helmet we uh, we lost our head because there is no there won't be any air inside so after recognizing this product particular product has an exhaust fan and uh, it is uh, it will be operated with the solar panel and you have a torch light so a, a helmet with different uh, idea so similarly if we have see you can hear the headphone uh, usb port is available uh, this, these are all the products all embedded inside the helmet okay uh, so just for an example i have taken this Similarly, you have to think of uh, the new new product uh, and the ideas with what you have in your hand. Okay, so you need not go or you need not to, uh, search for what we have in your hand, what you are expecting to be improvised this product. And if you have a requirement for improvising this product, that is going to be and make it is it in a formal way. It will be your idea. It will be your intellectual property. There are ways to claim that it is your to own your idea. That is what the main focus and agenda of this webinar. Okay. So the importance of intellectual property. The if you have intellectual property, your intellectual property rights can set your business apart from competitors. We are living in a competitive world. You know the 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 host institution is located at the Coimbatore, the industrial area you will have more idea on the competition business competitions and be assigned a gifted a sold a license like any other property as i mentioned earlier so we can we normally use gold and land uh, documents for getting loan from our pledge uh, similarly you can pledge you can uh, use it as a document intellectual property document in the bank and get loans and offer customers something new and the different uh, form an essential part of your marketing or branding be used as security loans then protect your creation against uh, the the violators and uh, now the uh, we are going to see about the different types of intellectual property right we have industrial uh, industrial design okay friends uh, so it is the one of the easiest way is go for industrial industrial design the best design i have given you know the the jump clip jump clip you see the currently you are using one type of jump clip and if you think that it would have been reshaped in such a way that it can be used in in, in a better way so if you think if you have some idea in your mind so then immediately you need to go for this industrial design you can i'll tell you what is coming under what parameters uh, are can are to be considered for industrial design then we have trademark when we have trade secret uh, we have um, geographical indication we have pattern we have copyright these are all the broad classification the types of intellectual property right so this is what the industrial design okay so the configuration surface patterns of an article so the article even the 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 whistle we use in in our cooker it has its own design pattern okay so the the small example is this is what a bottle being used by coca cola from 1899 to till date it has a rethought and reshaped in and with various with the different variants this first one was introduced by coca cola in 1899 this is what the model then they thought that to improvise the design they have uh, um, came up with a new design in 90s and they have reshaped it in this way in 1915 again it is reshaped it in the 1916 and they reshaped it like this in 1957 and uh, this is what uh, the latest one 18 1986 uh, the new coca-cola bottle and after that we had the plastic bottles and other things okay 
So when you go for a design, industrial design pattern, you have to have these parameters. The parameters are front view, back view, left view, right view, top view, bottom view, and uh, perspective view. These are all the different views. And uh, uh, the next type of uh, the thing is trademark. Trademark is uh, predominantly, you could see every day of our life, uh, all the product has its own uh, trademark. The products will be recognized by the trademark symbol. Okay, so, so if, if you see the Apple trademark, you could see that it's an Apple product and it has it got its own value. So distinctive sign or indicator used to be an individual, business organization or other legal entity to identify that the products or services to customers with which the trademark appears originate from unique source. So these are all some of the, so to test your IQ, I have given few trademarks. Could you be able to see which trademark is this for? Can you un unmute and say? Those who attended my previous webinar, not to say. So those who are the first time viewer can unmute your mic and say, what does it mean, this trademark means? Anyone of the audience? Yes, yes, no, no, yes. Are you there? Are you listening my talk? So the first one, Alan Soli. Alan Soli, very good. May I know your name? Upper. Very good, very Upper good. Avenue. Very good, very good. My favorite brand is Alan Soli. Next one, second one, this one. Apple uh, mobile phone. Yeah, this is Apple mobile Apple. phone. Thank you. What's your name? What's your name? Simran. Simran, Simran. Thank you, Simran. And this one, this one. A famous hotel in Tamil Nadu, it has its own branch all over the world. If you're going to have a coffee, it has its own taste. This, this. This hotel? Hotel, hotel, hotel. <laughs> it's none other than Hotel Saravanabha. Okay. And this is the, the Malabar Gold. So this way we can recognize the, the product. Okay. Trademark, it is covered under the Act of uh, the, the Trade Markets Act 1999. So this, this act came into effect on September 15, 2003, and it placed the Trademark Merchandise Marks Act 1958. So, so this act is extended to the whole India, and uh, the, it is coming under the Indian Patent Office, Indian Trademark and Patent Office. And trademark is, we have to, if you, want a trademark since it is a trademark of apple everybody everyone will use the same same symbol so there are some procedures through which it will be trademarked recognized globally so we need an application for search so there is an application for registration so after searching it and uh, getting the confirmation that similar similar trademarks are not available globally then we can go for our registration process. Then after completing the registration, we have to wait for the examination of the uh, trademark. Then this will be advertised and uh, the expectation and uh, waiting for the opposition. If any opposition raised by any people about this trademark, the office will wait for some certain period. If there is no opposition at all, then the certificate will be issued and you can use throughout your thing. And uh, we must know the duration fees of a trademark. Trademark is valid for 10 years from the date of application, uh, which may be renewed for further period of 10 years on payment on prescribed fees. Okay, so the government fixed a minimum fees of 2,500 uh, for this registration. <coughs> The applicability of a trademark, the trademark is a sign used on the connection with the market of goods and services. You know, the Apple is a good and uh, similarly we can go for service oriented product, we can go for the trademark. So look at this diagram, the trademark, the Coca-Cola name, this, this font uh, has its own uh, name and we can go for the uh, logo type, the Nick logo type and uh, the Macronite symbol, we can go for trademark and slogan uh, as an example and shape, we can go for trademark and we can go for trademark for the colors. Okay, for these categories, we can go for trademark. 
and the indian copyright 1957 governs the system of copyrights in india then after 1957 several version it had several version that the, through various amendments made in 1982 84 92 94 and 1996 so the meaning is it's a right which grants protection to the unique expression of ideas okay the next intellectual property uh, right, right we are going to deal is geographical indication again i am waiting for the answer you are you are seeing three diagrams uh, you could able to see three diagrams can you identify the places by seeing other geographical location by seeing this 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 pictures okay so there is a there is a mm, yes first so, one sinel veli halwa who is uh, what's her name lakshmi lakshmi ma'am thank you lakshmi ma'am for identifying so the second one rajabalam dal may i know the you know the participants name prema prema thank you prema ma'am and the third one third not one visible. this this one third one is not visible sir madurai malli madurai malli okay you are from which which place it's kanyakumari sir you are from kanyakumari okay very very near just um, yes. 300 kilometers from kanyakumari okay even my native place is kanyakumari very happy to meet you uh, here so this is what the madurai madurai malli so these are all these these things are identified by the place so even the tirunelveli is the next district of kanyakumari very famous halwa recipe okay this this recipe i asked the people what is the secret of this people said that it is because of the tamra barni water even if you take the same ingredients and make a halwa in chennai it won't get similar kind of taste so taste because of the the water so these are all identified by the geographical location the so geographical indication geographical indication is very very important i will give few more examples so if you go to greek culture uh, so you would have heard about the darjeeling tea so darjeeling i have been in darjeeling in a uh, couple of years back and i have experienced the the climate uh, different climate and the the tea tea if you go to there is a pl- place there uh, to we can see the sunset in in sun sun sunrise as we see in kanyakumari sunset and sunrise it's a very very famous place in darjeeling if you go to uh, at uh, early morning we used to go there to see the sunrise and if you go there you know the refreshing thing is the darjeeling tea they will bring with uh, teas and all the people will come with flowers and hot tea you know if you taste it, it the taste is something something different and uh, handicraft uh, so we are all very familiar with uh, the kanchipuram silk so all the marriages uh, are with uh, the kanchipuram silks uh, the uh bridal normally likes uh, kanjibram silks and uh, people from different parts will come to kanjibram and get the even the previous visit of uh, the uh president of china and uh, the the honorable prime minister um, when they met at uh, that uh, at mahabalipuram so at the end of the day our prime minister had given the kanjibram silk shawl to the president of uh, china and manufacturer mysore sandal soap from karnataka is an best example uh, and the food stuff inkre pujya from rajasthan is an example for food stuff similarly you can if you ask you can list out various various things even manapare muruk uh, it's an example so you can list out so many things so i Uh, this this particular slide i just want to give an awareness uh, how a dispute arises between two states for a single product the product is the mouth watering rasagulla uh, two states have started climbing into the west bengal and odisha they climb uh, the west bengal claimed that it is uh, uh, we have introduced in 1860s uh, odisha said we have introduced in 12th century and if you take the historical background the rasagulla was first made by nobin chandra das in kolkata and they said the odisha people said that we are offering it to the lord jagannath uh, and the color in nature but the, the dispute came to court and the judgment have given based on and the geographical indication given to both based on this small differences the first difference is on color the 
text is on texture and the third one is uh, next is on taste color the west bengal rasagulla color is uh, white in color and uh, odisha color is light brown in color and the texture is uh, spongy for the west bengal rasagulla and it is soft for uh, odisha and the taste of the it is uh, sweet in taste and not very sweet in taste odisha's so based on these small differences uh, the high court has given uh, judgment uh, given to both uh, west bengal rasagulla and odisha rasagulla okay so these are all something about the the, the copyright and the cop uh, the uh, trademark now let's move to copyright copyright is uh, nothing but an exclusively and uh, um, assignable legal rights given to your originator for a fixed number of years to print publish perform film or the literary artistic and musical uh, material okay can you identify these two legends can you identify these two legends can you know of you unmute sp sp bala subramanyam ah yes yes and mona lisa this meraj Elai Raja sir, okay. Uh, have you heard about the dispute between SBB sir and uh, Elai Raja sir? There was a dispute in I think in the year 2016 or 17. I don't want to tell the dispute. If you are more interested, you can surf the internet and get more information on it. But it uh, the dispute uh, raised because of the copyright issue. Copyright issue, okay. So I don't want to say what kind of dispute it is. So the why I'm saying is it has its own. It won't. Though they are very friends, uh, copyright as its own par, copyright as its own uh, thing. So Mona Lisa diagram. So the uh, it's a painting by uh, Leonardo da Vinci in the 16th century. Till we are talking about this painting, it has its copyright. And other things coming under this copyright: literary, films, dramatic, uh, uh, a drama kind of uh, art. then music uh, artistic sound recording these are all coming under copyrights so what is copyright the copyrighted works are creation of mind so something if i write a song it is it is a creation of my mind if i write a uh, drama it is it is my so shakespeare's dramas are all copyrighted similarly all the books you would have seen the even the websites we can claim it's our copyright Websites we can claim it's our copyright. All the website at uh, the front page, home page. If you see at the end, you could see this symbol, and uh, they claim that it's our copyright. Okay. So similarly, so encourage creativity in learning and balances exclusive right of others and allow limitations and expectation to access to knowledge and access to copyrighted works encourages innovation, research, and further creativity. so it is an intangible intellectual property it is a form of expression of ideas procedures methods or operations of mathematical concepts so the the things are literary works dramatic music are coming under the things okay so we can consider painting sculpture the nadraja symbol drawing diagrams cartoons map chart plan engraving these are all coming under copyrights and artistic works like this so see, see this this pepsi is design the tata salt light uh, the design the artistic work nobody can copy it the 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 design of the light uh, light bulb soap and the cinematographic work so if you want to claim it you need to go for copyright okay so the rights are if you have the copyright the rights are you can protect and reproducing by somebody and you can reproduce it any time as a owner and you can publish it at any platform you can perform at any 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 platform and any stage your your dramas can be or your songs can be played a number of times and the communication to public and you can adopt it and the translation you can go for translation you can go for rental you can give for assignments so if you want to know the validity of this copyright at this particular stage i have given the information a life plus 60 years for literary work dramatic work music work and artistic work including photographs and 60 years for uh, cinematography sound recording and other things and uh, the next question is if you have the copyright uh, how it can be transformed or transmission how the transmission will happen what is the procedure of transmission of copyright okay you can transfer your copyright to your legal heirs or the somebody 
by signing a contract or agreement in writing okay it is not uh, by saying or giving and uh, by orally so to publish uh, you can give your copyright transfer your copyright based on the contract so that you will get loyalty you will get uh, the revenue for every uh, copies so you can give transfer it to your publisher you can transfer it to your employee who is a highly potential to make it is uh, commercial and uh, there are copyright societies where you can approach and uh, they will promote your copyrights and uh, you can you can transmit transmit your legal heirs by big first and uh, testament so the in, in general there is uh, no formalities for registration but uh, if if you sense that some dis dispute will come then it is better to go for copyright registration so all the uh, as i said the websites if you claim its own copyrights you can go for any 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 kind of registration you yourself can claim it's your own by using the symbol copyright but there is a, a procedure for copyright registration if you go to copyright office and there the register in 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 the office in the register office of copyright where you have to provide all the details and you have no right to make any entry on the register but you can request the registrar to make entries on the register so that there is a procedure application is there where you have to provide all the information and we will see the information so this is what the uh, the the letter addressed to the register of copyrights uh, copyright office in new delhi sir uh, the body of the letter says in accordance with section 45 of the copyright act 1957 i hereby apply for registration of copyright and request you that entities may be made in the register of copyrights in the enclosed statement of particular sent here with so this this is a sample i have given the next slide i will give you the information required for filing your copyright so we need to have uh, the registration it's filled by the copyright office you need to provide the address the name address and nationality of the applicant nature of the applicant's interest in the copyright of the work class and description of the work the title of the work language of the work name address and nationality of the author and if the author is deceased in the date of deceased whether the work is published or unpublished year and country of first publication name address and nationality of the publisher some, some sometimes if you copy it from somebody some translated somebody you have to give the original uh, the owner's name in addition to that you need to provide a few more information so uh, uh, a declaration saying that is the work to be registered is a original work original work or is a translation of work in the particular domain or a translation of work in which copyright subsists or an adoption of a work in the public domain or an adoption of a work in which copyright subsists and another information is if the work is translation or adoption of the work in which copyright is then you have to provide the details of the original work the first thing is title of the original work language of the original work then name address and nationality of the author of the original work and if the author is this is then so these are all the information you need to provide while you file your application to the office of copyright address to the register of copyright so that and uh, the register wait for some time if there is no opposition will make an entry there's a fee registration fee 500 for literacy dramatic and music 2000 for literary or artistic uh, artistic work and 5000 for cinematograph sound recording 2000 extract from index uh, 500 these are all the various various fee structure of this okay, let, let's move to the next thing uh, that is patent uh, patents are legal documents that protect the rights of the inventor of an industrial uh, property so uh, nowadays the more predominant word among all the intellectual property rights is patent do you have patent how many patents you have so so it is based on three the three parameters the patent office will provide patent based on the three points the first one is patent is an exclusive right granted by uh, so one is first thing is novelty do you have see friends this is what <clears throat> the mantra of uh, intellectual property right or the patent property even as a teacher when you review your students project or even a researcher when you do your research automatically you have to raise this question when you propose something to the supervisor or somebody is proposing to you you, you must uh, evaluate your your work or somebody's work based on three parameters number one is novelty whether this idea this proposal is a novel idea or not the invention must be new 
are not known to public before filling. See, the grinder is known to public, but uh, taking flour without wetting hand is your objective. When you come up with this proposal, the novelty is not the grinder. The novelty is the idea of getting flour without wetting your hand. Similarly, you can justify all your ideas. You yourself can uh, say whether your proposal has novelty or not. Then innovative steps, you have to justify the future of innovative steps that involves a uh, technical advancement. Then it has its own potential applications. No, I said, no. See, even if you have idea, if there is no hope for commercialization, then the patentability pattern will not be provided. So pattern will be provided to the owner or the inventor based on these three criteria. It should have novelty, it has to have inventive steps. It, it must have the industrial application to commercial the product. The advantage of patent, it stops other from copying or manufacturing or selling, importing your invention without your permission. And uh, so get permission. So these are all the advantages. If you have a patent, you can protect your, uh, your product from your competitors and you can promote your business. You can go for a startup and you can go for certain entrepreneurship. You can, uh, you can start earning money automatically. Your, it, it is going to benefit you and indirectly you are uh, giving benefit to the nation. And if your product is attract the global people, then automatically you are drawing the foreign currency to India and through which the Indian economy will be. Right? That is going to be your contribution and that is going to be your contribution for the developed nation. If we climb our nation as a developed nation in the future, our, our contribution is highly expected. And you must know what are all not uh, the, the inventions. So I have given few few list uh, the the any process for the medical surgical. So it will not come under any any discovery of new form of any substance. No substance cannot be considered as invention. Traditional knowledge will not be considered as an invention. And the topography of integrated circuit will not be considered. A presentation of information will not be considered. A literary dramatic so these are all coming under the copyright not the patent and you must know who will grant patent so uh, in india patent uh, uh, indian patent office is located at uh, delhi uh, ministry of commerce government of india we have four uh, office at four different locations we have one office at delhi we have one office at mumbai we have one office at chennai we have one office at kolkata okay so these are all the procedures for filing uh, a patent. So we need to first initially we have to file the provisional applications. Then we have to uh, it will be given 12 months of the period to draft the complete uh, patent. So why this provisional application is insisted is so initial step of getting your idea <coughs> before telling to anyone you have to file it file this provisional applications. Okay, if you have idea, don't post it in a paper. Don't publish in a paper. Don't uh, post it in in the in the Facebook book um, uh, channel or or any social media. Okay, if you have any any idea, the immediately the first step is to go for provisional application. So uh, and then filing the complete application. After that, you will be getting twelve months of time. You can draft the complete uh, patent application, giving full details of the inventions. Once it is filed, it will be published within eighteen months. So in the Indian Gazette of a uh, gazette of indian patent office it will be it published and the pre-grant opposition and uh, once it is published it is disclosed to, to the public anybody can see it your invention and if there is any opposition um, if you say that your idea is already published idea is proposed by somebody you can immediately uh, oppose it similarly when you publish your idea and somebody is thinking that it is an older known at least uh, if they think that they are the owner, they can file the opposition. And based on this examination will be done. And you will be asked to, to give proper uh, explanation for your first examination report. First examination is very, very important. Even if it has no questions, uh, automatically you will be asked to give some explanation. And uh, the response, they will wait for the response from the applicants. Within a period, you are supposed to file the response for your first examination report. And uh, the if there is no opposition from the if everything is clear, then the grant of patent will be given. A certificate of patent is issued within seven days, 
and as i said no for patent it is valid for 20 years from the date of filing the patent application not from the date of grant okay so underline it sometimes it may take after uh, the the publication and uh, um, filing the application and the grant it may take two years to three years this is a typical procedure is there where you need to provide more uh, money as we provide money extra money for that train ticket we need to provide extra money for the patent office and um, so uh, we have to know how to search the pattern search the pattern is very uh, very very important you have to search why you need to go for the searching pattern is so uh, in, in my previous lecture one of the questions raised by the audience is what will happen sir if we file our pattern without searching doing searching so what will happen you know uh, you have to spend money and after one year or two years of wait they will call you and say you that it is not the new product already this idea has been uh, has been patented by somebody grant patent to somebody so uh, so you, you have to wait for one year or two year or two and a half years and you will come back without uh, getting anything so in order to avoid those kind of situation it is encouraged to go for fat pattern search first then you proceed next okay so i have given the fees details uh, uh, of drafting a pattern so even if you see my previous lectures i have given a detailed explanation about these things okay so the application is this is what this these forms are very very important this is a normal fee to be paid to patent office 8900 rupees so if you go to the patent facilitators they will charge for a drafting so i have some idea of making even a common people to draft uh, if you know the ways if you know the direction okay form 1 is uh, 1750 provisional form 2 form 3 form 9 the amount required for each form is uh, given and the total fee is 8900 it must be paid to the patent office and for the first uh, examination report uh, mm, within 48 months from filing the patent application based on uh, patent so this is what if it is uh, framed by uh, drafted by a law firm they may charge 5000 to 20000 there are some facilities, even we have a facilities and facilitation center at Anna University Center for Intellectual Property Rights, where we they have experts and um, they may charge around 2,000 to 5,000 rupees. It depends upon your financial strength. So at the end, you will get a pattern like this. This is what the most evading of the most of the uh, people, those who are allowed to get a pattern. So I will give uh, some some uh, interesting things about uh, searching patterns and how to get the uh, how to write your own uh, things. Okay, let us right away go to the Indian Patent Office. I will give some some tips. Sir. Shall I do some demo? Are you interested to no? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So I'll tell you the first thing is first thing is the comprehensive e-filing if you go there dynamic utilities the steps to find uh, i said no the farm one farm two there are farms available available and how to draft it so if you have a sample so we know the researchers uh, we normally take papers from the renowned uh, journals we will go through the journals line by line a line and uh, uh, get some idea about uh, the papers then we will start writing our own paper am i right this is what the normal procedure we normally follow because we are not born with uh, the uh, brilliant of writing papers Okay, so for everything we need a sample, we need a, some something. If you want to apply a proposal to Government of India, DST or some other organization, first thing we'll seek that we will search a sample thing. So if you get some idea, then we will file. Similarly, if you go for a pattern, if you want to know something, uh, here is there is an option, dynamic status of the pattern application as per uh, the field of invention. Okay, could you able to see this? able to see this before that you have to go to the patent office uh, the official 
web page ipindia.gov.in where there is an option here dynamic utilities dynamic utilities i'm clicking this dynamic utilities okay and there is an option here dynamic status of patent application as per field of invention okay i'm clicking this now asking you are about to proceed to an external website click ok to proceed yes yes here you have the area of interest may know the uh, the may know the area of interest of one of the participants here we have agrochemical, biotechnology, chemical, civil, communication, electrical, electronics, food, general. Communication, sir. Communication. Okay, let us go for communication. I am selecting communication. And I just want to know the period. From this period, I want to know the pattern which have been published. Okay. Let us see because uh, it is very uh, not a good. Okay. Six, before six months. Okay. From Let us search from May. May 2000, okay, in a full lockdown period. I want to know what, how people were active during this lockdown period, okay, till today, till 25, okay. So my search is based on the field of industries communication and I'm searching the patent filed and their status from the May 2022 till date, okay. There's a button submit. I'm clicking the submit button. Okay, it is coming. Yes, yes. So this much of patterns are uh, available. Okay, so date of date of publication. So here in process, in process. If I go to similarly, <clears throat> the difference is in in process. You may get the details of the patterns filed as well as uh, even and another option. If you go to granted option, even go to granted option, you will get the complete documents of a pattern starting from the file all forms till the certificate issued okay let us uh, make a search from the granted database okay granted similarly field is communication date is i'm interested to know about the pattern granted from the june may from may 2020 to uh, till date okay i'm searching it now okay sir uh, there were there is only one pattern granted granted and the applicant name is uh, Krishnam Technologies Private Limited. The title of the invention is Low Power Multi Protocol Communication IoT Device with Dual Intelligence and Dual Power. Do any one of the uh, participants is working in this area? Sir, is it your area? Is it your area? Anyway, whether it is your area or not, let us explore it. There is an option application number. This is what the application number of this invention. I am clicking and opening it. Okay, it is asking the CAPTCHA ensure that I am not a robot. I am submitting. Okay, send anyway. See, this is what the details of the pattern, the application number, application type, ordinary publication, date of filing is 7 5 2020. So during this lockdown period, they have filed this application. You know, applicant name is uh, uh, Krishnam Technologies Private Limited. And the title is this one. And there is a process. 
this file details, RQ file details, then published um, uh, details uh, under examination detail disposed. OK, so would you like to see the documents? Would you like to see the documents? Definitely yes. OK, any yes or no? I, if I click this view document, all the documents are there. All the documents, even if you ask the particular inventor to disclose it, they will not disclose you. Nobody will disclose it. But you know, once it is in the patent office, it is disclosed to the entire world. Entire world. Okay. So, so this is what the form one, form two, all the forms are available here. Okay, all the forms are available here. You can, if you want to download, so let us see the form one. So this is what the details of form one, all the details of the inventor details and their address. Are available here. Similar declaration of the inventorship. Are there okay and webinar for five minutes? Okay, then uh, so similarly, see this is what the general power, the, all the documents are available. So, this is how you are supposed to get the documents and you can know more about the document and if you if you read four or five patterns I definitely will get some idea about how the drafting would be okay this is the way of uh, uh, getting information uh, from the okay so similarly I will I will uh, teach you one more uh, thing uh, the pattern the uh, Google pattern similarly Google Scholar there is an option in Google pattern okay if you search normally you won't get details okay so uh, IOT, if I say so. There is an option provided by Google for patent alone. So it will fetch all the patent details and it displayed to you. I'm searching this IOT. So where you can will get the patent details. OK, so here, the number of us, 1,34,000. Let us explore with one thing, one, one document. One document. So you can see there is an option here, download PDF. If you download it, you will get the entire uh, details of a pattern. It's the best way of searching. So, so this way you can search your pattern, your ideas. Even you as a, re a reviewer uh, project, when you review your projects, uh, um, student project uh, to, to check the novelty and industrial things, uh, this way you can search and you will get the, all the details about the uh, products. So this is a 37 page document where all the uh, architecture, uh, technological details are uh, available here. Okay. So hope um, I have given uh, the some information about uh, the intellectual property right. You have the, all, all the office address. There is a center in Center for Intellectual Property Right at my university. It's available. This is what the status of the Indian Patent Office, statistics of Indian Patent Intellectual Property Right. Um, year wise Indian Patent Right. And this is for the patent application file details. So Maharashtra is topping with uh, 4,197. Tamil Nadu is getting second place with 2,382. So if you get more awareness, definitely you will. And uh, I, wherever I go, I encourage the sustainable development goals. There are sustainable 17 sustainable development goals. If you concentrate your research and findings on this, definitely uh, you will get more uh, innovations. Okay, I have been nominated by the uh, government. Tamil Nadu, Negli Masala, Tamil Nadu Movement, Goodwill Ambassador, and I'm um, promoting this plastic free. And uh, these are all some of the moments greeted by the officials. And if you have any idea and experimentation on the sustainable development goals, definitely will get more product and come up your ideas. Uber uh, idea came out and became a product. Facebook, an idea came up and became a product. Alibaba, uh, they, uh, an idea became a product. Airbnb, an idea became a product. So in innovations leads to innovation. So I just want to thank you in, in the, the organizers for inviting me. This is what my contact details. And for further details, you can contact me and you can interact with me. Thank you so much for your patient listening. Over to the organizers.
or to the so, organizer. Any questions? You can post it in the chat box. Sir, we'll wait for a minute. Okay. We can see if any question comes. If not, we can conclude the session, sir. Okay. Uh, the same things I am uh, broadcasting my YouTube channel. I will share the link to you, the organization. Organizers, kindly share it to the participants later. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. So the participants can post your query in the YouTube comment and you can give your feedback in the YouTube uh, channel comment also. Okay, I'll be more happy if you see your comments in the YouTube channel. And I request you to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yes, over to the organizer. Over to the organizers, please can conclude uh, if no questions. Yeah, this is what my YouTube channel link. Uh, the particular uh, presentation is available here. Go to the organizers, please. Uh, I encourage you to visit my YouTube channel and the uh, YouTube uh, link and where you can give your feedback in the comment box. Thank you so much uh, for inviting me. Organizers, if you have any formal uh, conclusion, Thank you all, all the viewers uh, will meet you in some other webinar. God bless you.